How's it going then? here and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. The Rams are in EFL Cup action tonight. West Bromwich Albion are the visitors in this second round cup tie. Now guys, if you do go and enjoy my video, then do me a massive favour. Hit like, subscribe and hit the little bell icon next to that so you don't miss when I upload a new video on this channel. It's as simple and easy as that. So, West Brom are oh, the visitors today in cup action. It's gonna be a tough game, definitely. West Brom coming off the back of a 5-2 home win against Hull at the weekend. But meanwhile, Derby have gone two games in a nil-nil draw in what have been very dogged defences from Fleetwood Town and Shrewsbury Town. And it is really going to be a more attacking game. I think today's gonna to be more open. Um, however, this is a, this is only cup action, and I think Rossini is only really going to be looking at fitness and getting minutes under the belt of players who probably won't get chances to this season. And that's really what cup action is all about. It's more to see about which players, um, just see how players play, get minutes under the belt, and sort of just like bleed them into the team slowly. I think that's the way we need to do it this season because obviously, League One football is more solid it's definitely more defensive as we found out in the last two games really should have beaten Fleetwood on Saturday 20 shot 27 shots eight on target and somehow they kept us out for 90 minutes very similar to Shrewsbury we had 75 percent possession for the whole game had more efforts than them and we still couldn't get the ball in the back of the net and that's just, that just proves how dogged this league is West Brom, obviously a championship side. The football's going to be more open, I reckon. So I reckon we'll probably have better opportunities to score today. With it being a cup game, though, I don't think we'll be putting our strongest side out. I think West Brom will probably have better players than us. And they'll be looking to build on that. Uh, they'll be looking to build on their last win against Hull, where they won 5-2. Therefore, I'm going to predict a 3-1 loss today. I don't usually like predicting losses, but I think if we can at least get a goal and at least put on a good performance today and try at least try and get into the next round. Um, but I think 3-1 is a very realistic scoreline considering the players that West Brom have got. Obviously, they uh, fell short of a playoff place last season and they'll be looking to build momentum going into their next championship game. So 3-1 loss, I'm going to predict today. The goal scorer, I'm going to say Nathaniel Mendes-Lang. With that, guys, here is how today's teams line up. guys couldn't get any tickets in the D block in our regular seats so we are a bit further down today but we've got a more central view of the goal. Yeah. 50 minutes till kick off. Opportunity of the first half course for the Rams. Lewis Dobbin on the right hand side, and Lewis Dobbin won it on the left. Just couldn't control his, his shot and it goes wide. But we have the first uh, first shot of the contest. West Brom through, brilliant ball through the middle and stopped by Roberts. Brilliant. Thank you. 
there for West Brom, funny and about with it at the back we were. I'd love to still be in this. That was really, really bad. That, that was just, that was, that was us not concentrating. That could have cost us. Too many silly balls around the back of West Bromwich pressing us and winning them. We need to do better around the back. Out, Buzzy! Nice! Matty Phillips with a good header there, straight to Wildsmith. Surprised it's still 1 0 to us, but. I'm not playing bad, but so that um, there's a league difference. Shoot! treatment, maybe a substitution, I'm not sure. Two-handed pushed, pushed Roberts in the face, and he's not even giving her a yellow card or anything. It's disgraceful. Well, okay, if you are not see it, then fair enough. But it should be. It needs to be more. It needs to be more stricter. You can't, you know, you can't be punching people in the face.
Obviously, West Brom have had their opportunities too. Joe Wilson has stayed strong. And there's been some very good defensive challenges from Roberts, from Rooney, and from the side. We've been holding our own in this first half, definitely, and we do deserve to be going into this first half, uh, into the second half, sorry, with the lead. However, West, you know, could argue that West Brom do deserve something in this game, considering how much possession and how much better play they've had than us. Still, it's still a very tight game. Both sides have got, have had very good opportunities. We can hold this. I know we can hold on to this lead and probably sneak this win. Um, there's still a long way to go. Still 45 minutes left. Yeah, we need to sort of, we need to bolster that defence and just make sure that we uh, see the game out. One.
Duncan Morris for in the last few minutes. And this is what it means to play and stop his time. I expect at least about five, six minutes. set on the match, Derby County 1, West Bromwich Albion 0, very athletic, uh, very athletic match today, West Brom putting us to our paces plenty of times and there's plenty of opportunities on either side, that was a proper, that was a proper cup contest that was, very edgy and it could have obviously gone either way, West Brom had plenty of chances to score but we held our own today and what, uh, in, in what was a very good well, a very good matchup defensively. Obviously, our first goal in three games, and is getting on the board once more. Obviously, with uh, obviously with two draws in our last uh, two games, it was always going to be a tough match. But Louis Sibley, with a bit of uh, with a bit of magic, as we know, he's got top corner and opens his account for this season. West Brom did have bags and bags of opportunities tonight. They just couldn't, they just couldn't break us down, and they, and they really wasted their opportunities that they had. They probably deserved, they deserved at least a goal to be fair tonight. But like I said, if you don't, if you don't, if you don't score, you don't win. So we're going to take that gladly and move on to the next round. And yeah, I'm, uh, I'm hoping for one of the big boys in the Prem next. So maybe. Arsenal away would be nice, and I'll have to go to that. Um, yeah, so it's, yeah, so one of the big boys away, that'd be good. I just, I just, I just don't think my heart could take if, I, if we get drawn to Forest. So uh, yeah, um, good win tonight. Good win, good test of, of athleticism, and yeah, into the next round. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe if you haven't, because it helps me out. And I will see you guys on Saturday, Peterborough, are the visitors then. We're back in the action. Niall, signing out.